द लॉर्ड बी विथ यू एंड विद योर स्पिरिट आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम द होली गॉस्पल अकॉर्डिंग टू लुक ग्लोरी टू यू ओ लॉर्ड At that time Jesus said to his disciples Watch yourselves lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and care of this life and that day come upon you suddenly like a trap for it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth but stay awake at all times praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the son of man the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus christ My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus Today is the final and last day of liturgical year Tomorrow onwards we begin the season of advent the beginning of a new church year Today we are once again presented with the gospel passage that points out to the second coming of Jesus This gospel passage which is presented to us is not to frighten us or to make us anxious about future but Jesus invites each one of us to be always prepared to to stay awake vigilant and to be always watchful because we do not know the last day of our life and also we do not know the second coming of jesus if the enemy was at our doorstep no one would ever need to remind us to be watchful and vigilant because this possible danger attack would shake us all out of our slumber Similarly today Jesus invite each one of us to stay awake in prayer to stay vigilant that enemy will not have control over our life over our hearts over our soul to be prepared to love God and to love one another to be watchful to to engage in the works of charity today jesus points out the two grave dangers that will cause our hearts to become drowsy or weighed down and leave us unprepared the first jesus says that dissipation and drunkenness we all of us very often try to search for the happiness and joy in the worldly things and we always forget that real joy real happiness comes only from god the only jesus is the only source of joy and happiness for our life the secondly he speaks of cares of this life and the anxiety of our daily life no one wants to be anxious and no one wants to be in worry in trouble the one primary source of anxiety is stress tension the confusion the fear the despair that we have many times at our workplace or in our family or in our community the people with whom we live so jesus is calling us that cast all our worries all our fear all our despair tension unto him 
because he cares for us vigilance or to stay watchful consists in getting strength by prayer so that we may be free from evil addictions and unnecessary attachment of this world every time we when we come at the altar of the lord the priest prays a prayer after the our father god free us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ my dear people faith and hope in god and vigilant and to be prepared for his final coming is the spiritual cure medicine for the anxiety and distress the fear we often experience in our life as we come before the altar of the lord let us reflect today upon the things that block or hinder us the most from being ready to meet our lord perhaps we struggle in making right decision perhaps we struggle deeply with worry distress fear anxiety tension of our life let us trust in the lord and trust all poor decisions of our life and trust our sin worries tension fear and i would like to end my today's reflection with a short prayer and i invite all of you to pray with me lord our loving father you and you alone are the answer to every struggle in life you alone can relieve us from our burden and the poor decision we make we do entrust ourselves to you and give us the grace to make you the single focus of our life amen